It all began in 1983 during a snowstorm. Australian mountaineer Roddy McKenzie was climbing near Manali. While on the mountain, a storm blew in, so he pitched a tent. Sitting by himself and riding up the storm, Roddy realized that the terrain and quality of snow gave the area tremendous potential for a long-time dream of his, a helicopter skiing operation. Well, the area has a number of advantages in that uh, the altitude provides us with uh, very good recrystallisation. There's an inverse square law that determines the uh, rate at which infrared is radiated off a, um, a slope. And altitude, as you double your altitude, you get four times as much infrared out into space. So um, the conditions here, are, it's easier to get good conditions for skiing here than I think perhaps any other range in the world. Maybe there's somewhere in China. but. Uh, not that I know of. Certainly in terms of the Himalayan setting, we've got the best uh, sunshine average in relation to um, snowfall. You get more sunshine further east, but you won't get any snow. Uh, and so we think that this is about the right spot. After bringing in well-known avalanche experts from New Zealand and thoroughly checking out the terrain, Roddy was ready to begin the process of getting permission to start a heli-skiing operation. We first approached the government in 1985 in Darjeeling at the uh, second Himalayan tourism conference there. And it was a very interesting experience there. We did then um, an assessment of what we thought were the pros and cons. And um, there were pros. You know, it put Himachal on an international map. It uh, would bring in foreign exchange. It would expose people to a new form of sport. But at the same time, uh, it wasn't all sort of unequivocally good or, um, you know, sort of without any problems at all. I mean, uh, I remember very distinctly that uh, two or three considerations that did arise when sort of weighing whether to go ahead or not to go ahead was, first of all, that there were environmental concerns and uh, there were things about sound and, you know, disturbing wildlife, etc. We spent from 1985 until 1989 uh, dealing with the formalities required to operate helicopters in the Himalayas. We had a very, very progressive, let's say, both senior bureaucracy and I would say the political will to support something which was quite new, quite challenging, quite adventurous, and I really don't think it would have been possible without, let's say, the political will to go ahead. So uh, in retrospect, I think it was really an excellent decision because I, I find that we are the only people in India doing it. It's been almost an unbroken sort of, uh, uh, let's say, season of heli skiing in Himachal. So in 1990, recognizing the tourist potential, the Himachal Pradesh government gave its approval and Himachal Heli Skiing began its operations. And an exciting new adventure sport hit the slopes of Manali.